Good morning everybody. It is a very grey day outside. I did not want to get up this morning. So I'm still in my silky, silky white company pyjamas. I've got my eye patches on because my face is so puffy. That's where we're at this morning. I'm going to make some coffees and then get on with the day. Today's attempt at latte art. Can we call it an angel? That way? Maybe? condition of my skin has looked this good in years. I have one tiny little spot that is on my forehead snack, bang in the middle, and then this little guy that will just not leave my face. But he is a lot smaller and was a lot less red when I woke up, but I've just done my skincare routine so now he's a lot bit red. We are getting there guys. We are getting there. My face is pale as anything though because I have been putting SPF 50 on it my face and my body do not match but it's fine because it's looking really good and i'm really happy just need to quit the ice cream because i think that's an ice cream spot also i used this last night and let me tell you it is not too shabby I have a nice brown arm wish i could say the same for my hands but my arm is brown i need to do my hands this morning good morning everybody welcome back to another vlog today we have a task at hand by the way i'm going to address this elephant in the room before anyone comments on it because i know it will be commented on Yes, my nails have gone. I gave up, I fully gave up. I was sick of doing my nails like every single week because I'm nowhere near as good as my nail lady. Amy, I miss you. They were just very annoying and they were lifting all the time and getting stuck in my hair, which still has bits of glue in it. So it was just a whole like tangled mess at times. And I was like, these need to come off. I'm just gonna regrow them from scratch. And <laughs> that's gonna take a while and be a fresh little fetus. And I'm growing my hair. So nails, everything, just everything is going to be bare and fresh and hopefully it remind me to just eat a bit better, take care of my actual self a little bit better. It does mean that I have like child hands in the meantime. So I'm sorry that I pointed it out and now that's going to be all that you notice. But yeah, today we have a mammoth task at hand of doing my spring to summer wardrobe switch over but I'm also getting the wardrobe ready to move. So not only am I switching over but I need to organise things and know where everything is so that i know where everything would be going so like my active like current little kind of not a capsule wardrobe but just my little bits that i am wearing all the time at the moment and then my summer stuff i need to know where that is my winter stuff i need to know where that is all my depop stuff for when all of this shiz is over so yeah i need to get everything ready to go ready to be moved just need to know where everything is and what it is doing and that is a job that makes my head spin a little bit because there's just a lot of clothes and deciding where everything is going in advance when it doesn't have anything to go into this will make sense soon is just a lot it's a lot and then i obviously also need to tackle that but there's no point in doing it before i've like sorted everything out and like got everything in its place and i know how much space i'm working with and where that stuff needs to be sandwiched so yeah let's get to it this is gonna be a whole day of organizing to those of you who love organizing merry christmas to those of you who hate organizing i am so sorry and i promise to do a video soon that doesn't have organizing in the title actually my last one might not have you can go watch that one i'll link it features lots of my new spring summer dresses which I'm still undecided on. I mean, I have a little while to decide whether to send things back or not because I'm not going to the post office right now. I'm just kind of like waiting it out. So I have a little bit more time to decide, but I can't decide what to reorder in a smaller size. So go over to that video and let me know if you haven't already. So I need to find a home for all of those bits and get rid of like, I've still got winter coats in the wardrobe, which is so inappropriate. I've got stuff that is like, in my other wardrobe which is like let me show you i basically have a dress up section from 
old Instagram shoots. This section, and uh, I feel like this is gonna need to be stored. Maybe not this, because this is, these are like the cutest dresses ever. This one's quite good for like Ibiza summer stuff. Lots of these are like dresses that just need to be like stored away because they very rarely get used and it's taking up like valuable wardrobe and brain space. Because I think about these things and then I'm like, no, this shouldn't be in my brain. I shouldn't need to think about these things because they're not an option. And I also need to go through my events section because I just can't remember the last time I went to things. <laughs> and I need to just kind of go through and reassess. First things first, I'm going to go down to the storage room and grab some of my summer dresses that I wanted to wear for this summer. I'm also just going to go through it and just assess whether there's anything that I want to depop or anything like that. But I'll show you what I bring back up in a second. I actually just went down there the other day to do a little recce and I pulled out this dress which some of you might recognise from very old videos. This is a lot looser on me than it used to be. I don't know if you can really see but it used to be quite like tight on me. Like if I was bloated you'd be able to see. I am really bloated today. It's not really ideal. Everything hurts. So I thought I'd throw on this dress because it is a really nice easy one for me because I know I always feel good in it and it fits really well even when I'm bloated so I pulled out this little old gem this was from Topshop maybe like 2016 no 2017 I want to say they did these dresses in so many colors and so many different like prints and stuff everyone had one I really feel like they should bring this back this was like golden age of like Topshop summer dresses I feel like I love this one I pull this out year on year on year and um, so I'm gonna go get some of my old ones Especially because I've been eyeing up a lot of white dresses lately and I know I have a lot of white dresses down there so I need to go get them so that I'm not tempted to buy new white dresses because I know I have them and I should just wear those. Yeah, so I need to bring up anything that I don't want to not wear this summer because basically I need to have everything that I want to wear this summer in these wardrobes ready for when I move so that I know where all the stuff I'm going to need is and then all of the stuff that goes into the storage room is stuff that I'm not going to need for a while. But I need to separate the winter from the depop and yeah, it's a lot. My storage room, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. So if you ever hear me and Laura making jokes about you in relation to my storage room, this is why, because it is creepy AF. But yeah, I've got a few little dresses that I picked out. Some of you might remember this one from a few years back. It's like an astrology dress off of ASOS. I don't have the links for any of these anymore, sadly, because they are so old. I thought this would be cute for like warmer days when I don't wear my dressing gown. It's just like a really long floaty throw on. I thought that would be good over the summer when I don't want to stick a dressing gown on. I've got this bandeau dress from Miss Selfridge and I've had this since I was 17. It's so old, but I love it. It's just like a really simple black bandeau. It's like stretchy material at the top and then just goes into like a jersey skirt. I think it's meant to be midi, but it's maxing on me. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I've got this dress, you'll recognize this from last year. This is a white Zara dress. It's kind of like Hortonecki style at the top and then just goes into a really big, like what I want to call a parachute skirt. I've been really craving wearing that at the moment. And I have this little white dress that I got last year from Urban Outfitters. So cute. What else do we have? There's a lot of very old coats. So these are winter coats I want to keep. I think those are winter coats I haven't touched in a long time. So some of you will recognise this misguided coat. I think this is a bag of winter coats that are my recent winter coats. And then we have winter coats over here. As you can see, these were vacuum sealed, but I've obviously been through them and I couldn't be bothered to vacuum seal them back up. I can now put Depop in vacuum seal bags and then everything else can just be put into like boxes and bin liners and stuff. And there's a rail in here. I'm ready, ready for not having a wardrobe. Goodbye, last winter coats. Goodbye, I'll see you again soon. Definitely this one. We'll definitely be seeing you again soon. I love you. Goodbye, trench coat. Goodbye. If anyone is wondering where the trench coat is going, even though it's light, it's because I'm much more of a like jacket girl in the summer. I prefer a leather or a denim or something like that. Even a bomber, just, I don't like long. I think I wear quite a lot of dresses, it doesn't make sense. I'm hopefully gonna store the things that I'll need sooner in a slightly more accessible way than like my stuff that I just don't see myself using again for a really long time, like stuff that I'm either gonna deep up or I'm just unsure of. Like the things that I know that will come back out next winter, like this puffer jacket, I'll make them really easy to access after moving. Okay, that's freed up like half a wardrobe. Look at that. It goes all the way back. 
empty. I love doing the winter to summer switchover. I hate doing the summer to winter because it's like, oh, how do I fit all of these things back in the wardrobe? How did I do this last year? I'm just not gonna think about it because this is the best bit. Okay, summer to winter switchover. Let's do this. simple. I forget how after having Carla do my wardrobe, my wardrobe is much more like transseasonal and because of the nude shades of everything in the bulk of my wardrobe, it does make it very very easy to kind of keep everything for summer to winter. It's just a few different types of knitwear that I've had to take out that are just too warm. Like I'm never gonna get away with wearing them with shorts in the summer in the UK because obviously it's so much colder here than I know people in the US that the thought of wearing knitwear in the summer will be like, ugh. But in the UK we can get away with like denim shorts and then a jumper. But there's certain types of knitwear that are just not appropriate for the summer. So I've kept like lighter, more breathable knits, like my pretty little thing knit that's got it's quite like a loose knit like the stitches aren't like really tight together perfect for summer and it works so well with midi dresses and like skirts as well so as you can see there's just loads of hangers up the top by my knitwear then my coat section at the back is just like empty now and down here I stay pretty much the same because it's my jackets my trousers which I still get wear out of in the summer I just put like a bralette on with them and then my leather jackets which are the collection is definitely growing this year but I love them and then just hoodies t-shirts like still wear those in summer and then skirts and shorts and this is your time to shine Hans because you haven't been worn in a while but I'm so excited to get wearing like my midi stuff again Ugh, so excited got my bits from the storeroom in this bag I always get asked about this bag by the way I got this off Revolve ages and ages ago but it's by this brand which we all used to have like school rucksacks from but I keep this for like going away trips where I don't want to take a suitcase so I've got all the stuff in there that I need to get in the wardrobe and then I've got some bits that and other stories very kindly sent me they gifted me these things and I'm so excited about this lilac dress blues and lilacs are like just everywhere at the moment and I keep seeing them and it's now like embedded in my brain and I just want everything blue and lilac so I'm trying to be quite restrained with color but I couldn't resist adding a lilac in like I think this is such a lovely muted color that it still works in a very neutral wardrobe the bikini I the bikini not so neutral but I just thought this would be lovely for wearing around the garden on really hot days I've got this little like wrap around nude dress which is really lovely it's kind of like a lovely in-between between a light and a very very structured dress it's like a nice kind of quite thick good quality material so it's not going to be just one for holidays this could be a lovely one for just like when you want to look nice but be comfy in the summer then we've got my blue asos dress which i am just absolutely in love with and that definitely needs a place in my wardrobe and then my pajamas and then i need to sort out this rail as well lots of these bits need to go into the wardrobe i've got a few bits here that i'm going to decide on but yeah i need to find all of these at home i'm probably going to keep some of these on here though just things that i'm wearing a lot quite regularly at the moment like this dress from asos this dress from asos which you've seen about a million times this nasty girl dress which you've seen like a million times and this nasty girl dress and uh this new top shot one which i love i think i showed it in a haul recently maybe my last video i love that with my gucci trainers it just looks so cute so so cute but yeah we'll get some of this in the wardrobe all these shirts need to go in the wardrobe and then i just need to sort out my event stuff and my old shoot stuff and then just the depop stuff which <laughs> there's always a massive pile of clothes at the end of this dressing room i never show it because i, I can't it hurts me but that is the depot pile which i actually suspect there might be something that i remembered last night that i was like oh that could be actually really cute and i think it's in that pile so i might have to fish it out this is why i don't end up doing depop because i just changed my mind on everything that is my my everest the actual summer to winter switch over is fairly simple straightforward fairly i say that there's a huge pile of clothes now that needs to be dealt with yeah i always feel like summer to winter i really know what i'm doing with that it's just like shorts and shirts and dresses and so easy so easy it's winter where you're like i'm like carla i need your help please come asap bring wine
is a different person's wardrobe. I don't, I don't think these match up. I don't know who she is. Dun, 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 dun. This is my favourite bit. Yes, please make my clothes smell nice. Smells so good. Okay, so I think we're there for my summer wardrobe. I've moved my trousers and my shorts and my skirts around so that I see those as well as like basically the shorts I think I'd be most likely to pair either with my tops that are all folded there or with a jumper or shirt so I've kept those like in line with each other so that when I outfit build my brain doesn't get distracted by looking all over the wardrobe it's all very like much in line I've kept my leather trousers because I just think <laughs> there is never a season when I won't then I've got my more summery trousers which usually are over here I've just switched them over and brought them more in line with my shorts skirts then a couple of t-shirts my jackets which I could pair all of these together very easily but I also pair my jackets with these dresses so they're kind of like in line with each other and then I've got like my more darker jackets and hoodies there just in case but I still wear them all season round this is looking gorgeous this technically should be on my rail because it's like on my list of things I need to give attention to but I'm not worried about like needing to remember that one but yeah I got a bit excited and I just wanted to see that like little hint of lilac because as you can see there's like a vague little colour theme popping through there's lots of like neutrals and nudes and then there's these little like bluey tones coming through and I just think it's really really gorgeous I feel so inspired now that I've done this and I love my summer wardrobe because it's so nice to be able to like have your clothes a bit more like spaced out because they're not all like squished in because of coats and more knitwear it just looks gorgeous so yeah and I've got my blouses and shirts more towards the back and like blazers and jackets the things that I don't get as much wear out of but I might still need to reach for especially like blouses and shirts if we all <laughs> end up going back to work at some point which I think is unlikely but just in case I do want to make sure they're not like put into storage especially after moving because I'm just scared I'll never be able to find anything so yeah this is my current wardrobe setup this is what we're working with it looks gorgeous very happy with it. So I've just added in a few extra pieces, including this dress, which I love so much. This was one of my Ibiza dresses from last year, and there's something in my gut just saying don't pack that away, whether it's for like wearing at home or something. I just feel like that needs to stay there. I don't know. We all need a little bit of hope. I've also moved. There were some like tops, like puffy sleeve tops from the other room from my event section that I've also moved into here just because they are like a summery colour so it might be that I will end up wearing them. Basically what I've decided to do is to, I found more storage bags, amazing, like vacuum sealed storage bags. I'm going to be able to vacuum seal all of my Depop stuff and I think all of my winter stuff and I think I'm going to do my event stuff as well. So there's just like a couple of pieces that I was like just in case I'm going to keep these out because basically when I move I'll work from the boxes that are from this wardrobe and I would hate to then I don't know have a need for like something that's a little bit snazzier at some point between now and September and then to just not know where any of my stuff is so yeah I've decided to keep those out but all of my dresses that I would generally wear for like weddings and christenings and all of that kind of thing I've just decided that actually I'm going to vacuum seal it because I don't think I'm going to need it I'm currently toying with what to do with my event dresses that are more wintry because I just don't know I really don't know what's going to happen part of me has a gut feeling that i'm like yeah no i don't think there's gonna be stuff later in the year but i don't know so yeah my events wardrobe is like a slither now like a slither this big mainly of sequin dresses for the winter and a few like dressy tops from like last christmas and stuff like that and yeah then the rest of it is going into the loft because it was all like big ball gown dresses which i'm definitely not gonna have a need for this year i'm mainly gonna be working out of this one wardrobe and I haven't even used the full wardrobe because I actually have like a linen basket which is just I hate having it out so hopefully in the future I'll be able to like build it into something but yeah so I'm not even using like the full capacity of this wardrobe yet it feels really good I feel like for the first time in my life I've really kind of kept on top of my wardrobe maintenance and it's just been so so easy to switch over so basically what I'm going to do now I think is pop everything into vacuum sealed bags pop them in the places they need to be for the system that is going on in my head because moving is like I'm not super organized with many things but moving I am like Virgo level organized I don't know what it is I just love moving always have I actually once had a job when I worked in marketing but that's how I got into events where I had to project manage a building move for Booper and that was like huge and I think I was like 19 or 20 and I can't believe they trusted me with that but I love moving stuff I just love moving <laughs> so yeah this is all ready to go I feel really good about this I think once it's in the boxes we have special like rail boxes once I move and I just I know that those are the only boxes I need to work from it's just like a good 
solid system and I have lots of spare hangers as well which is great because obviously I'm wearing something that's going to need to go into the wardrobe there's probably stuff in the wash like it's good to have spares it's all nice and fresh I feel really like inspired it's nice right this is it I'm done for the day I've got my winter stuff in these two bags everything is looking gorgeous over here i've changed into this giant jumper from in the style it says sussex on it i love it my dress got fluff on it when i was packing fluffy coats into the bag so back in sweats <laughs> always happens you know it's happened earlier in the day before so i've made it to like two three o'clock what is time i've done quite well today that's it. I'm just going to go do all my admin stuff that I need to do now. And I'm going to pack my Depop stuff tomorrow because I don't want to do that right now. Looking gorgeous though. Looking gorgeous. I'm so happy with it. The colours are so like pleasing to me. I also found my studded denim jacket. Not in that. Right, second time lucky at doing this intro. I think today it is Wednesday. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I actually am at the point now, which I think a lot of people were at a couple of weeks ago where I am losing track of days. I know it's not an upload day, and that's that's where I'm at. <laughs> I know what day it is on a Monday or a Thursday, and I definitely know what day the weekends are because one of them is curry day, and that's my favorite day. I know I said I was gonna do my like bagging up clothes and just sorting out the other room today i actually ended up doing that last night just like super late you start doing one tiny thing i was like oh i'll just prep for tomorrow i spend loads of time doing the really really boring bits and then i don't get around to showing you like the good stuff because i'm just like my head's too in it and i'm really overwhelmed so i was like i'll prep and then i just ended up doing it catch 22 i have nothing to show you really apart from there's a lot of bags basically i actually started packing this is not what this was meant to be we just have loads of we don't have boxes yet because obviously I haven't just been able to go out and get boxes so i'm waiting for some to arrive i've just started bagging things because it's just at least it's easier knowing that stuff is like organized yeah there's a lot over here which i will show you in i think an upcoming vlog Definitely not this one. This is not the day for that. Lauren texted me this morning being like, just so you know, the video is already 22 minutes. So, and I take that as code for try not to talk too much more. So just kidding. I could literally send her another hour, but it would just mean that I have to rewatch a draft that's like two hours long. For anyone wondering why I'm trying to like not make them long, it's purely because I'm trying to keep this practice in case I end up with no internet and I'm like, used to doing like 40 minute vlogs and chatting loads and then i'm suddenly not able to upload for whatever reason and then i either have to upload via my phone or through lauren that's why i'm like you must be restrained <laughs> you need to be restrained unfortunately i don't have much to show you apart from so i've sectioned this this wardrobe was like ball gowns crazy coats like anything that i've used that's a bit bougie in an instagram shoot it just kind of lived in here just in case we'd need to pull it out really should have always lived in the storage room but i just never really got around to it but it was basically all events clothing so everything from ball grounds to suits to just like nice tops it was just all in here so that my daily wardrobe in the other room when i'm getting dressed i don't get distracted by the sequins and the like I don't know, like velvet bodies and stuff like that, things that you would only wear on a night out, which made so much sense. But yeah, I've actually just put it all into storage for the rest of the year, which could be a really bad idea, but we'll see. I might just have to come and dig it out at some point if we start doing events. I think the homebody in me is kind of oh, wishfully thinking that I might not have to wear it. Oh God, I shouldn't say this because I'm just gonna get never get invited to anything ever again. But yeah, part of me loves going to things. The other part of me is very, very happy being like at home right now. It's really, it's a real like internal struggle I have. I love people and I love my job and I love all of my work events, but I also love being home. So I'm just, I'm happy whatever really. Yeah, so that is what is going on here. I've got beauty products that have already been bagged up. All of my stuff for the loft. This room is is getting there i'm really really happy i love this print by the way i always get questions on this this is by a girl called lily burn i will pop her instagram in the info box for you guys i'm staring at it and then trying to like speak at the same time apparently i can't do that yeah i also sorted through this chest of drawers because this chest of drawers my plan is ryan has two of the drawers in here then there's another drawer of makeup and then there's a drawer of sunglasses so i don't know if you can see it's got a very it's a mess but it's a, got a very shallow 
layer of organization there and I feel like it's just a real waste of space so so my plan is to find alternative storage for that if you guys have any like storage that you love that goes in something cause I don't like display storage like that's something <laughs> that's something that I'm gonna kind of be moving away from in the future not like immediately but like in the future i plan to move away from that if you have any like internal sunglasses storage that maybe i should just make them stackable or something like that or something that could like fit in like a section like this but it's maybe like stackable i don't know there's acrylic cases but i just find acrylic a quite a difficult one if you then don't want it in the future it's just like plasticky waste i don't know but anyway so my plan is to there's that drawer, there's another drawer full of just like old photos, old mems, all of that, and like bits of wrapping paper, stuff like that, like birthday, birthday drawer. And then there's a drawer of wigs and extensions, which can definitely go into storage. I'm not gonna need that anytime soon. There's just one set of extensions that I'm gonna take out and I'm gonna cut to about here, I think, just to give me a little bit more length and I'm probably gonna like layer it so it's less of like a clean cut. I think that will be really, really cute for like summer. But yeah, apart from that, I think I'm going to put everything in storage. So that frees up three drawers. The other drawer is my makeup drawer. So yeah, I'm going to have three drawers in this big Ikea set free. Ryan can still have the other two. I've got two rails. You can only see one. I've actually got two. One is in storage, which is just very fortunate because that's going to come in real handy. But yeah, everything from this drawer, this set of drawers, can then go in there. So that pleases me a lot because it means I can get rid of these very annoying West Elm drawers because they are just a bit of a pain in the bum if i'm honest they don't fit as much as you would think it's very annoying whereas these ikea drawers are the best drawers i've ever had i really highly recommend them and they're very minimal and clean and i just i like that this room doesn't look it but it's really coming along i have now got a list of all of my things that i have left to do if i do one of those things a day it's going to take me nine days and i'm very happy with that and i think i'm gradually just gonna start packing as i go along so by the end of my tenancy we should we should be good and hopefully we'll know what's going on by then and i'll be able to actually talk to you about things and everything will make so much more sense bags and shoes sorting through that is on my list i wonder if they know what's going on do they miss me so yeah that is what i have been doing then today i need to clean my bathroom because i'm about to film a igtv for space nk which i'm really excited about i love them so much they're the best team i love working with them i think it'll be up on monday so keep an eye out for that on their channel so yeah i need to film that clean the bathroom because i'm going to be filming it in my bathroom and i just i need to have a clean bathroom to work in always the one thing i've actually really enjoyed recently i have to be honest is because lauren hasn't been coming here to work like i used to have to clean the bathroom constantly and because it's just like me and ryan now and there's not like a third guest because <laughs> i treat lauren like i'm like it, she's a guest the flat needs to be clean for her because she's not coming in i can be a bit more relaxed but now i have to i'm gonna have to do it so yeah but it's been nice not having to clean my bathroom every day can't wait till ryan's house is ready and then i can partly live at his and then also not have to clean my flat every single day it's gonna be great and just gonna make a mess at his what else am i doing today i feel like i have a really long oh it's payday week so i've got a lot of people to pay so i'm just gonna try and get everything on my list done so that i can play sims this evening anyone's wondering this is the dress that i am wearing today it's the one that i think i showed yesterday from and other stories it's lovely so you can wear it like this i always think this makes my shoulders actually look wider than off shoulder i quite like it at a little angle it's quite cute i just love the color it's so so beautiful little lavender bits on it it's so cute that is today's dress very very nice and easy just like oh, i love something that you can just throw on and i'm not wearing we all know I'll be in my trackies in like an hour, maybe. So, well, actually I need to film the Space and K video, so I'll be in those pajamas in about an hour. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing this morning. Oh God, I love this dress so much, it's so cute. Yeah, I'll link it in the info box for anyone that wants to go and have a little wee look. Hair is looking decent today. I actually got some, let me see if I can show you, some silk pillowcases. So my hair wasn't a total state this morning. It wasn't like all frizzy and crazy like it normally is. So I'll let you know how I get on with those because I, mean, I haven't chopped these. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, please call her. Oh, love doing that. So yeah, I'll let you know how I got on with those. Those are from Lily Silk. I got gifted those. I actually didn't realize in the box of stuff they'd sent me. I thought it was just like paper at the bottom and then I was like lifted it up and I was unpacking all of the stuff yesterday and I was like, oh my God, this silk pillow. Yeah, I've heard rave reviews about silk pillowcases, so very excited by that. It's the little things, 
it is the little things. I'm so excited that I still have my H&M dress. It's making me so happy. I just feel like really happy with my wardrobe and really inspired by it now. I highly recommend before you actually do like buying for spring, summer, this is something that I've forgotten to mention, I think in the past is actually just like doing your wardrobe switch over first before you buy anything, because sometimes you just get so inspired by the stuff you already have. Like I really should have done this when I did my last wardrobe organization i should have switched over then but it was just that little bit too early but yeah this is the perfect time for it. i'm so so happy with it it looks so cute oh and i saw a comment yesterday from someone that's like you're always organizing now it's really annoying me and i'm just like i'm moving I don't like doing this much organizing. I am not a Virgo. I do not enjoy this in any way. I start and then I want to give up like two minutes later. I don't enjoy this. Don't think I'm doing this for fun because I'd rather be baking cookies and playing Sims quite frankly. And that is all I'm gonna say on that. Uh, but you can't film that. So I know I could film the cookies, but I'm not a baker and it would be an absolute disaster. So. Um no. But yeah, oh, I also wanted to say if anyone is looking to kind of get a more in-depth overview on what I've done here, I've actually done a blog post on tips for organising your wardrobe and like the perfect organisation-y bits with lots of links in there and like just links to everything that is in my wardrobe, like hangers and all of that. So if you want all of that information, I will link the blog post below. There's also an accompanying, the last wardrobe video I did accompanies that and I kind of talk you through it visually. But yeah, I'll link either of those. In the info box for you if you want to go and kind of delve into that more so yeah i'll link that below for you and uh i think that is where i'm gonna end this vlog because i actually don't have anything else to show you and i need to get on and film start filming next mondays as of tomorrow which is going to be non-organizing related so i hope you are excited for that so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little video and seeing a sneak peek of my spring summer wardrobe i'll probably do some like outfits from it at some point in the near future but yeah just to give you a little overview that is it i hope you guys have enjoyed this i love you all lots and i'll see you guys again very very soon bye